The first step to remove a tooth from a model is to make the relevant model the only surface appearing in the 3D view. This is done in the Surfaces panel. In order to open the Surfaces panel, left click on the panel's icon on the main toolbar, then left click on Surfaces in order to open the Surfaces panel on the right side of the screen. In the Surfaces panel, left click on the visibility checkbox to uncheck all other surfaces except the relevant model thereby hiding the other surfaces in the 3D view. If the model is hollow or does not have a sealed base, it should be closed before extracting teeth. The close model function is found in the model manipulation panel. To open the panel, left click on the panel's icon up on the toolbar, then left click on model manipulation. In the model manipulation panel, left click on the close model button, which is found under the stone model heading. Fabricating Closed Model Progress box will show when the closed model is completed. The closed model is shown in green, superimposed over the original model and provides a sealed base. Left click on the Surfaces tab to open the Surfaces panel. Left click on the visibility checkbox of the original open model in order to hide it. The closed model, named Model Stone Model by the program, now appears as the only surface in the 3D view. Teeth can now be extracted from this model. In the 3D view, left drag the mouse in order to rotate the model so there is a clear, unobstructed view of the tooth to be removed. In the Surfaces panel, left click on the model name in order to highlight the name. Left click on the Cut button at the bottom of the panel. Move the cursor to the 3D view, hold the keyboard shift key and the left mouse button and drag the lasso around the tooth outline. Release the left mouse button to execute the cut function. This may be repeated as necessary for trimming or performing additional cuts.